Hello and welcome to the channel. In the previous video we've seen how to compare properties for two worksheets. And when we say properties we refer to things like the name of the worksheet, the used range or number of cells with content, whether the worksheet is visible or protected, and how many formulas or comments does the worksheet have. Have a look at that video if you haven't seen it yet. But probably when you think of comparing two worksheets you're probably thinking about doing a cell to cell comparison. So I'm gonna add another module to do that. So now we're gonna do a cell to cell compare, for example. And to do that, again, we have to use, so I'm gonna use the same two worksheets. So I'm gonna copy paste that just for demonstration purposes. But the important thing here is, again, you need to have your worksheet one, WS1, worksheet two, right? And now we need to loop, so for each cell in, and we can um, have one of the two worksheets as a reference. Let's say we take WS1 as a reference, dot the used range. And there are several other ways we could do that. Uh, in some previous videos, I've used the current region property of the range. So in that case, we should have WS1 dot a given range or a given cell dot current region. But in this case, used range probably works better. So now we're gonna get the value in the first worksheet and that's gonna be WS1 dot range cell dot address dot value. And that's actually the same. So we could, instead of all this, we could just say cell, right? But we're gonna do it like this to make, to, to make it more clear and actually to have it for value two. So value two is gonna be the same, but in worksheet two. And now if val one is different than value two, then we can do a different bunch of things here. It depends how we want to output the comparison. So we could add this to an array. We could write it to an range in a different worksheet or in a different workbook. So for now, I'm gonna put it in a different worksheet. And here we could have the cell address, for example, and then what's the value in worksheet one and what's the value in worksheet two, only when there's a difference. So here we could say in sheet four dot range A and the last row, so let's call this LR last row and we will get the last row earlier in, in this loop. The value here is gonna be the cell dot address. So this is gonna give us the address. And we're gonna use the same for uh, for column B. In column B, we're gonna have the, the value in the first worksheet. And if we copy and paste this again, in column C, we're gonna have the other value. Right, and then we're gonna get the last row up here. That's gonna be sheet four rows count, and this is one of the ways to do it, but there are several other ways to do that. And Excel app dot row and plus one. So that's actually not the last row with content, is the last row with content plus one, or we could add the plus one up here because we want to add the data in the next row. So in the first available uh, row or, or cell, right? And down here, we can now move to the next cell. So let's see, let's compare worksheet one and worksheet two, but the problem is there are a lot of differences. All of this is not in the other worksheet, so it's gonna come as differences. So let me just copy and paste this and just change a few things. I'm gonna change uh, the name here. I'm gonna change uh, this number and this is gonna be true and, and a few, a couple of things so that we see that there are some differences. Let me remove this here. So there are some differences and we're gonna see those. I've changed far, four or five things. We're gonna see those uh, down here. Let's play now and see what we get. So yeah, so that's what we get. You see there are like four or five differences we get the cell address here. So in B4, 
worksheet one has administrator, but worksheet two has other, yeah, because we change it. Yeah, in B8, uh, there's a different number, and the value is different in this other, and so on and so forth. So these are the differences. That's how we compare the the, uh, the two worksheets cell to cell. Now the other thing we could do, if we want, we could also change the color, the interior color of the cell that has a different value. Uh, that would be in the first worksheet. So for example, if we say interior color yellow, that would change the color in worksheet one. Why worksheet one? Because we are looping for each cell in worksheet one. If we want to change the color in worksheet two uh, or in both, then we would go and say ws2 dot range cell address right interior color yellow right now if i r if i run it now you see well we've got that um actually below the other one because we didn't clear uh, the worksheet so that's okay but then now you see these are the different values so we have highlighted the different values with yellow in both sheets yeah and we have just compared the values so imagine you want to compare other things if you want to compare the formulas we don't have any formula here but if you just want to compare the formulas instead of value here you would write formula um, and we would probably have to change also the property here to show it as a formula and probably we will have to we will have to change the formatting of the cell and of course we would change the value here uh, instead of val1 it could be formula1 formula2 so on let's leave it as with values so the other thing we can do is we can also compare the format in those cells so so we can copy paste this here and simply depending on which formatting um, we want to compare for let's say for example we want to compare the font size uh, so we would use a variable so we would use a variable for that and then we would address that property so font dot size font dot size or we could get the font color just changing that uh, just using that property and changing the name of the variable we could get the interior color of each cell with using the interior dot color property for example and we could also compare uh, the border using borders dot color or the weight of the border um, and so on so there are many other formatting properties that we could compare that's the way we would do it and we could actually compare all of those properties that we saw in the previous video but cell to cell and we can do all that here with compare xls as you see down here we have the cell to cell comparison where we can choose to compare values as we've seen earlier in this video or we can also choose to compare the formulas or compare the format and the format and the format here in this add-in includes the font the interior and the borders so that's how we do a cell to cell comparison of two worksheets in excel using vva macros and there will be yet another video where we will see how to compare two data sets so data sets can be two columns or two or two groups of cells arranged with content in one uh, location, either in the same worksheet or in different worksheets or even workbooks. So we will do how to do that in the next video. Uh, stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.